Hi there, thank you for stopping by my channel. My name is Denise, and today I'm going to show you some of the coloring books that I bought recently. And um, I'm going to show you those at the first part of this video. And then the latter part of the video, I have some exciting art supplies that I bought that I want to show you as well. So let's start with the coloring books. The first one is called Ancient Aliens, the coloring book, and this is from the producers of the movie, of the TV show Ancient Aliens, uh, which you may have, if you have the History Channel, then you probably are familiar with that show. This coloring book is illustrated by Kathleen Edwards. And I saw this coloring book, I think it was Doodle Robots channel and she was doing a flip through of it and I was intrigued by the images and so I just had to get this book. Now I, I went to, I mean I went to Amazon, I have, sorry, I have Amazon Prime and when I order coloring books usually I don't have to pay for shipping but this came from I think from the UK and so I, I had to pay shipping um, even though I have Amazon Prime so it was an extra six dollars roughly on top of the cost of the coloring book but again I was so intrigued by it and really it was this image when uh, Doodle Robot was doing the flip through that I thought oh that looks like a fun picture to to color so here's a few quick images just to give you a feel for what this coloring book is like. So yeah, Ancient Aliens. The next couple of books that I have here, I got from the book outlet um, online, and it is the uh, Canadian uh, Book Outlet Canada. I'm not sure if there's a book outlet in the U.S. I think so, but anyway, I'll just say uh, for uh, these purposes. I, I don't remember how much I paid, so what difference does it make, right? <laughs> but anyway, the first one I got is Entangled Forest, and this is a Creative Haven publication, and the illustrations are by Angela Porter. And I like illustrations that are sort of zentangly, and I got this book because I thought, oh, that could be a lot of fun. And I haven't really done anything in it as yet, except for that one page. I did a little test. Um, one little one little leaf that I colored there. But anyway, looking forward to coloring in that book. The other book that I got, it's not really a coloring book, but more of a how to do like spiral drawing. So um, this book is called The Art of Spiral Drawing by Jonathan Stephen Harris. And uh, I'll just give you a sort of a quick flip through here what this book looks like. I like to do spiral drawing. I already kind of know how to do it, but I always like a book that gives more ideas on how I can incorporate it and create some of my own illustrations and drawings. And... I like that he has all the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do different shapes and then how to spiral within that shape. And then I'll show you a little bit later on when, um, when I show you my art supplies, how I sort of incorporate the things I've learned from this book into my own artwork. So again, the art of spiral drawing. Oh, and before I put it aside, I found him on YouTube as well. So if you don't want to buy the book, but you're intrigued by his artwork and, and his how-to, um, his YouTube channel is uh, same. Oh, it, it, he goes by John, like J-O-N, John Harris, if you're looking for him on, on YouTube. And he's got some really fabulous videos on there as well that I've been watching and I'm going to be applying them pretty soon. The other coloring book, now this one I bought uh, a month ago because it was for autumn, and 
So I'm only showing you this one because um, I love these books by uh, Color Questopia because you can get white or black backgrounds for their coloring books. And these are the color by number and I have autumn patterns and I completed the, the book. So, I mean, it's color by number. I don't really think I need to give you a full flip through of it, but I do like to uh, throw on some metallic colors and glitter pen um, after I'm finished coloring the image with felt tip markers. And um, the other thing I like about these uh, Questopia books is that they always give you a set of sample sample items from other coloring books that they have, sorry, color by number books that they have. So I like that as well. It gives you a feel for some of the other kinds of coloring, color by number books that they have. And if you like coloring the sample pages, it might be something that, you know, a person wants to further that and get some of the other books. So to treat myself for completing the whole thing is... I decided that I wanted to get a color by number by George Tufexis. I've I've seen lots of his work by other colorists on their YouTube channels, and then I've had this book on my Amazon wish list for quite some time, and I thought, okay, I'm going to do it now that I finished one book. Now I can get another one. And... I knew that this was a more complicated color by number, and it definitely is. Um, so I have completed a few pages, but they're, they're a little more intense than, you know, the Questopia ones where, you know, the images are a little bit simpler to do. These are, yeah, they have a more intricate design and, you know, blending Um, you know, you can kind of blend your colors a little, a little better. So I know I'm, I'm jumping the gun here with uh, Christmas, <laughs> but you know, hey, it's coming up and I love coloring anything uh, Christmassy. So yeah, I finished this one just today before coming to make this video. And so you can see that the, the images are, they're really beautiful really beautiful and like I say I usually come in I'm just rotating the page to show you I like to use metallic colors whether it's uh, watercolors or glitter gel pens um, and that sort of idea all right so that's all of the coloring books that I have for this last couple of weeks as part of my coloring book haul Next, I want to show you some of the art supplies that I got. This set is by Artistro, and it is the watercolor paint set. There's 12 metallic colors and six chameleon colors. So let me just open this up. I have opened this up and used it already, but I wanted to just show you the packaging because it's really lovely. So it comes in this gorgeous tin, and you can see the reflection of my, <laughs> the light up above here, but that's just how shiny this tin is, and this sort of hologram effect, that's right on the, the tin itself. So really lovely. Let me open this up, and I'll show you what is inside this set. You get a watercolor brush like water brush and then a paint brush. I won't take it out because it's kind of hard to take that out. You get a metallic uh, pen. No, it's a metallic marker. Okay, it's... <laughs> I have taken it out. Okay, there we go. There's a metallic marker. You get some um, ink uh, paint wells in there if you want to mix up the paints. There's a little bit of a sponge here, and when you take out the, the little sponge, there's a couple or three more wells down in there as well. Let me just put that back inside. This is so much fun. So these are 
the swatch chart on a clear plastic sheet. This was already included, so I didn't swatch these on here. Um, these are the colors. Let me turn it this way so that it kind of matches the, the chart here. So you get the metallic colors and then the ones in the round wells are the chameleon colors. So the reason they're called chameleon is that they change color depending on what color paper you use it on. So you get a set of uh, paper and it's the same size and shape, of course, as the kit. You get five black and five white sheets. Um, it says here seven by three inches or eight by, 18 by eight centimeters. And it's 140 pound watercolor paper um, or metric, it's 300 GSM. So I won't open that up, but that's what those are. So I've swatched these already. So this is what all of the colors look like on white. Okay, and then the chameleon, you can't really see it, but they are here, these chameleon colors. Uh, one is called glass slipper. Well, actually I should just tell you what all the colors are. Let's look at these here closely. So there's the gold, burnt orange, Orange Sunrise, Pink Lemonade, Shamrock Shine. I'm just gonna grab something else instead of my finger. Um, Deep Space Blue, Silver, Midas Touch, Ruby Slippers, Flamingo Pink, Purple Haze, Orange, sorry, Orange, Ocean Spray, Dragon, sorry, Dragon Fire, Leprechaun Gold. Okay, now we're getting into the uh, the chameleon color. So, uh, Dragon Fire is the first one of the chameleon color. So there's the Dragon Fire, um, Leprechaun Gold, and then you can hardly see it, but there's Glass Slipper, Magic Wand, which is my favorite one. You can probably see it just a little bit in that lighting. The next one is Violet Tierra and Rainforest Magic. Now, let me show you what these look like on the black paper. Okay, so let me move that aside so you can see how they stand out very differently. Oh, I just love that. And so the chameleon colors again, there's our dragon fire and that's what it looks like on the black. There's the Leprechaun Gold, Glass Slipper. Sorry, I'm looking through the camera and trying to line this up properly, but Glass Slipper, Magic Wand. I'm gonna rotate it, that's gorgeous. Violet Tiara and Rainforest Magic. There, so that's the whole set. Uh, it seems to me that during Amazon Prime, what do they call it, those Prime days, there's two or three days where you can get deals. And I had this set on my wish list for a while. And so when I checked on the Prime uh, days, it was on sale. So I went ahead and got that. So that's that Artistro watercolor paint set with the chameleon colors. So the other art supply that I got was a set of watercolors from um, an Etsy shop called Rese uh, sorry, Renee Sounds <laughs> Colors. So her name is Renee. So she has a, her Etsy shop is a play on, on words of her name and what she calls her watercolor paints. And it's so sweet because she gives um, her business card with a, a handwritten note. Uh, so it just says, thank you so much for ordering again, <laughs> Denise. And uh, she signs her name over here. 
And then as part of the business card, it says, we'd love to see what you've created. And you can go to her Instagram page. Um, what else does she have here? Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. And yeah, so that's her business card. So I had ordered just one color from her. And it was this one called Magic. And I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. And it came in a pretty little purple uh, pouch. And then with that was the same kind of card as this. And then a sample. So as it turns out, the sample I actually loved even more than than the magic watercolor but i'm going to show you these right away okay so i just wanted to show you that was from another haul that i had made so let me put that down as as you can see i used this one called trafalgar <laughs> quite a bit it's quite it was like a little dot of paint right that she puts on a little card for you to try and oh i absolutely loved it so i've used it quite a bit it goes a long way and that's why I, I like these so much. I went to her Etsy shop again and found another set of paints. And this is just the sample pack. And I thought, well, they lasted so long as a little dot of color that I thought, well, well worth getting like a sample sheet of these colors. So I thought I would swatch these right in front of you so you can see how they look because that's new to me and if you like what you see then you know that might be something you may want to go and visit her shop and uh, oh look I got another <laughs> I didn't even open this yet she sent like a sample with her samples how about that that's so awesome look so another little card let me turn this around this one is called it's very pink um does that say Advent? And there's a number eight? Arvent? Mm, okay, I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's her sweet handwriting, so I'm not sure. I think it says Advent. So let's put that one down. I'll have to write that, that name down here on my swatch chart. All right, so let me take the plastic off here so that you know, there's no glare. So the colors on this sample is, the first one is called Phoenix Lyceum. Here I am with my weird looking finger. Okay, Lyceum, Fortune, Trafalgar, and of course that's my favorite. So this set already had that color on it. So Trafalgar, Dominion, Novello, Sondheim, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Lyric. So this one says West End Color Shifts. So I think if you're looking for this on her shop by same name, Renaissance Colors, if, um, you know, because she has lots on there. So if you're looking for this specific sample card, maybe look for the one that says West End Color Shifts so that you get the, you know, this particular one. All right, so now I didn't um, have water sitting on here to activate them, but you know, I find that once I get the colors going on it, it doesn't take long. So this is the one called Magic, and you can see there's different colors in it. So let's get lots of water on there. Put that down and maybe I'll bring it up a little closer. All right, so I decided to use black watercolor paper because I find that these metallic colors um, just look best on black. And I mean, that really is the same for, you know, the Artistro paint set as well. So here we go. Magic looks like, oh, look how glittery it is. Isn't that something? Okay. 
Okay, and then the next one is called Phoenix. So we'll get, get this going here. Oh, let's get it in the camera. This one's called Phoenix. Wow. And the next one we're going to swatch is called Lyceum. And, oops, there we go. Has sort of an orangey gold look to it. And the next one is called Fortune. Lots of green and gold. Yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with it a little bit. And the next one, Trafalgar, which I already know I love it so much. These are just beautiful on their own or as an overlay over top of other colors that you might be using. And again, like they work well in coloring books and or your own artwork of a different medium. Okay, this one is called Dominion. Here we go. Oh, wow. Stunning. And then we'll go with Novello. See how, don't really have to wait that long when you activate it with water to get it going. I just love watching that glitter move around on the page. Oh, so much, so much joy from doing that. I should probably have swatched these on white as well to show you, but I didn't think of it. I just had this um, black watercolor paper that I wanted to do this on camera for you. This one is called Sondheim or Sondheim if I'm mispronouncing it. And I was going to say this is the last one, but this is the last one on the card. But then we're going to swatch that little extra sample that I, I got with this. So this one is called Lyric. I mean, you can kind of see a bit on the white, you know, how it looks. But okay, here we go. Lyric. that she gave again can't quite read her writing but I think it says advent and there's a number eight pink metallic -y. oh sorry I'm off camera here here we go and I didn't write the name of this down on the swatch sheet but Here's a spot for it. Let's just put that there. And then I can write the, the name of it a little bit later. All right. So let me bring this up close. So again, the first one was by itself. What is this, a quarter pan maybe? 
or half pan, I'm not sure. Might be a quarter pan, so that's the magic. And then the rest of these. Okay, the sample card, and then that extra pink sample that she put in the set. Stunning, love it. Okay, so now that I've swatched those to give you an idea, I'd like to show you what I like to do when I'm working with these metallic watercolors. Sorry about that, let me put that aside. So this is um, my Stonehenge cold press black watercolor paper. And I like to do reverse coloring with metallic paint. So with the black paper, I use a gold pen, like the, the Signo gold pen. And create my image like that. Okay, let me, this is a bit close. Let me just zoom out a little bit here. And so if you're familiar with reverse coloring, usually it's on white paper and, you know, it looks like uh, blobs of different colors, um, usually by watercolor paint. And then you go in and create your own lines or actual images that you might see in the blobs of color. So I find that on black paper, metallic paint, the gold pen, or the signal white works well as well. Sorry, let me bring this one back because that's what I've used here. There's a bit of that white signal pen and the gold signal pen that I use on here. So just like that spiral drawing book that I showed you, what I like to do is just come in and, you know, find something that looks like a shape. You can do whatever you want. This almost looks like a face. Like a laughing profile of a creepy something. <laughs> so you see how you can do whatever you want. So the spiral drawing, let me sketch out. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. And for the spiral drawing, let me move this up here and zoom in just a little bit here. You start in one spot and for a square it's easy because then you can just pick a corner and then offset of the corner you start going to each of the corner again just offsetting where each one is and then when you come back offset it again and keep going around the image like that, offsetting each point until you've spiraled around to the center. And what I love about this, doing this, it's just so relaxing first you get to play with the colors and create your own little blobs and so on and then come in with your your other medium which again a metallic or a glitter pen works really well and then just start you know doing that reverse coloring as they call it and oh, my alexa speaker is going off in the background and what I like to do is rotate the page too, so that if you're not sure if you're really seeing anything um, or images do pop out at you, you can, you know, 
color in, draw in whatever it is that you see. Like this, this looks like an interesting little item right here. Kind of looks like ears. Yeah. So anyway, you get the idea. I, I could uh, <laughs> sit here and do this for hours. But again, so I like to create my own reverse coloring with the metallic paints. That's just one of the things that I love to do. And then if I do want to do something a little more uh, that it looks like an illustration, for example, like these flowers, very simplistic, but it's a lot of fun and rewarding as well. So thank you so much for joining me today and showing you all my supplies. I hope you have a great day or evening wherever you are in the world. And again, thanks for being with me. Bye for now.